And uh, what we're talking about now is not based on uh, worldly economic. The word, thank you, Holy Ghost, the word works on a different economic system. The words, the words don't just purchase things, the word make things. The word, the word has a, uh, a manufacturing mechanism built in it. If, if, you, if it don't exist, the word can make it for you. I want you to listen to me now. It's very important. Wherefore, first two, wherefore do you spend money for that which is not bread, and you labor for that which satisfied not? Notice that. Hearken diligently unto me, and eat ye that which is good, and let your soul delight itself in fat. Talking about eating the word. Eating the word. That's, that's so important. That's what we want to do this morning. Now, our text out of this chapter is uh, God can restore anything. I want you to make some notes before I read. You're going to run up on 11 shall. S-H-A-L-L. Shall. S-H-A-L-L. And uh, I want you to uh, get the last three letters out of that word shall. What you come up with? All. All, All right, now. Everything is included. Boys, y'all play close attention because it's powerful stuff this morning. Everything is included. All. Shall mean all. Another word for shall is uh, will. W-I-L-L. All right? Now, I told you about shall, S-H-E-L-L, last Sunday. And I told you to take the last four word out of that. And what was that? Hell. Hell. Outer covering. Shell is the outer covering. Things may look like hell. But if you're on the inside, right, you're going to change it. You're going to turn out to be heaven. And another word I brought forward is shout. Shout. And the last three letters in shout. Ho, 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 ho. You're out. See, now, I want you to see those three things. Uh, now, shall mean, because you're going to look at shall 11 times in our text. 11 times. Talking about the word. Shall mean it will happen, not only can happen, but must happen. Shall mean it will happen, not only can happen, but must happen. Now I want you to put everything on the table now, everything in your life, everything you need to get straight, I want it on the table today. Because the word is going to operate like a two-edged sword on every situation. Are you listening to me? All right, now, Isaiah 55, 11. Now, you know the word is God's thoughts, God's ways. God don't think like we think, but he gives us his thought in his word, and he gives us his ways in his word. But it's not in the shell of the word. That's H-E-L-L. It's on the inside, and that's what dominion. Remember John 6, 33? You said the word is spirit and life, word that is spoken to you. Now, when we deal with God's word cannot fail and we understand God's word does not work by time. It works by timing. Every time you put God's word forward, it's going to work. But you got to keep your faith in the word and know it's already done. It's already done. Now, Isaiah 55, 11. God talking about bringing his people back to the everlasting covenant and he pardoning them and forgiving them. and get so, so shall my word be. So shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. Underline that first there. So shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. So shall my word, so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. It, now, what we have to understand is when you are operating in the word by faith and when you're operating in the spirit, when you're operating in your right as a son and daughter of God and you're using the word, that's the word coming out of God's mouth. Uh -huh. I mean, let me go, let me go over it again. Let me go over it again because, see, sometimes we read the Bible fictitiously uh, and we get excited about it, but God is trying to tell us something. He says, when you're using my word in faith and using my word properly, you're using my thoughts and my ways that can't fail. 
And when you speak my word by faith, you speak in it, but it's my word and it has the same power. The church must come to that. We, we must know there's no organization, uh, there's no institution in the world system that is stronger than a Christian. And we've got to come back to our place. We, we, we have socialized. We have, we have got into socialism uh, Christian-wise. We've just put everybody on the same level and get excited. There are some things, many things, that money can't buy. See, the power that you got when you speak God's word. God went so far to say that those who in the word of God come, I've called them God. Over there in John chapter 10. So it's powerful for us to understand. And then when you know God's word cannot fail, he's going to prove it right here. My, he said, my word cannot fail. So if you praying about something and if you got a scripture God have given you and you think you're failing, you're not on God's word. You're not on God's word because God's word cannot fail. You see what I'm saying? You might be on some word out the Bible, but you don't have them in you. It's not, it's not a revelation. It's not real. It's not a rammer. You got to become a rammer where you got to be, see the word. He said, the word that I've spoken to you. See, before you can speak God's word like Isaiah 55, 11, first of all, God got to speak to you. See, and then it's sort of like a, uh, I guess you got, it's sort of like a repeat. You're repeating what God said that going to happen. See, when you pray, when you see God fed, God give you a word or his word. When he give you his word, then you speak it. But if you just read it, it's not going to work. You, you see the difference? So, so you can have tons of scriptures, but if it's not spoken to you, if it hasn't come alive, if it's not a rammer, the spirit and the life is not in it. The spirit and the life. She got to have the spirit and life in it, the spirit of God and the life of God, the spirit of the Holy Ghost and the life of the Holy Ghost has to be in the word. So here, I want you to watch these shares now. So shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. It what? It shall, I want you to see that shall, not return unto me void. But it shall accomplish that which I please. That's four shall in one first verse. And it shall prosper, and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. Now, when we release that word in that type of understanding, let's look at condition, how condition are transformed and how things change. Look at the 12th verse now. For ye shall, see, it's a transformation taking place. Ye shall go out with joy. Don't care what it is. Don't care what you're dealing with. See? And be led forth with peace. Woo, my. The word, the real word. When you know the word cannot fail, no matter what scenario you're in, you know you're coming out, of, you're coming out with joy and peace. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I hear somebody say amen there. Yeah, see, no matter what you're dealing with today, you tune into this broadcast and the word of the Lord coming to you in facet that is God's thought, is God's ways, it cannot fail. Whatever you're dealing with, there's joy on the other side. There's peace on the other side. Be steadfast. Listen carefully. I'm going to give you some ways to do that. Be steadfast because this is beautiful. For ye shall go out with joy and be led forward with peace, no matter what it is. Look, Lord, it's the mountains. Ooh, it's plural. Y'all getting it? The mountains. Anybody got any mountains? The mountains and the hills, plural. Look, shall break forth <laughs> before you in sing. Shall break before, break before you into singing. Well, we got joy, we got peace, we got singing. And all the trees of the field shall Clap their hands. In other words, you can clap now. You can clap. Whatever you're dealing with, just go ahead and clap about it. Because it's coming out in your favor. You're coming out with joy. You're coming out with peace. You're coming out with singing. The mountain's going to move. The hill's going to move. And the, and the clapping should start. Yes. Glory to God. Fields shall clap their hands. Hands are blue. Everybody got to clap. In, now watch this, verse 13. The thing you're going through something. 
Baby, I'm glad you tuned in this morning. Instead of the throne shall come up the fir tree. Uh -huh, the fir tree. And instead of the brow, you know what a brow is, right? I'm a country boy. Shall come up the murder tree. And it shall be to the Lord for a name, for everlasting sign. Ooh, look what the last part said. Look what the last part said. See, that's why I know the word of God can't fail. Huh? The word of God will never be cut off. You listen to me? He says, and he said the end, and shall not be cut off. You can't stop it. You can't stop the word of God. As a matter of fact, in life, God's word is the only thing that is failure proof, no matter what happened. I'm going to give you that again because I'm just preaching. This is, I got a few people in here, but y'all hear them out there, right? Yep. As a matter of fact, in life, New York, California, Africa, Jim Byway, as a matter of fact, in life, God's word is the only thing that is failure proof, no matter what happening. 